plant. The second year I grew, I grew two, and, and here we are this year, and we're, we're going to grow three, three plants of sun gold. They're a small cherry tomato yellow. Um, if you looked on our, um, our Google Plus page, uh, our picture there is actually the sun golds. Uh, we picked dozens and dozens of these, and we only had two plants. Uh, they're a very, um, uh, one of the best cherries, well, I would say the best cherry that we've ever grown. Everyone that we give, give these away to absolutely love them. I mean, they're like candy uh, bowlfuls. We've had literally uh, bowls of these that we pick, uh, and they're great producers. We started picking these probably probably mid to late June, and they just grow all the way through um, almost up to the September here in Connecticut. It gets cold, you know, generally in the late August, early September, we start uh, winding down our growing season. But um, these are, I would recommend these for anyone's garden, at least, you know, one or two plants. Uh, and you really can't go wrong with these. Now, one interesting thing is the sun gold, uh, you can't see it here well, I don't think, but it's the F1 variety, variety or hybrid version, I would say. Um, there's an F2 version, which is a newer uh, variety um, or new, new strain, I guess. Uh, you know, it's been developed. I prefer the F1. Uh, I don't believe the F2 variety is proven yet. Uh, I've heard where um, the F2 version has given uh, people, um, it's not completely stable, I should say. You know, you get some red fruit, uh, actually. We have not experienced that with the F1. You know, they're true um, hybrid. We've got all yellow, all consistent size, all good flavor. So um, uh, that's why I went with Johnny, uh, Johnny Select Seeds rather than Baker Creek. Uh, Baker Creek, uh, at least what I could find, uh, was offering the F2 version uh, of the heirloom, and I, I'm really not interested in that. I'd like to stick with uh, the F1. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I may consider, um, you know, after kind of reading about that, I may consider saving seeds. Uh, I've done that in the past. I haven't done that recently because they're so readily available online and whatnot, but I may save these seeds uh, after this year because you know i'd like to continue to breed and grow um true true heirlooms and and, and, I, and I don't want uh at least in this tomato to experiment with any kind of alternate or uh, newer variety so i'm happy with what i got and, and that's what we're going to stick with so um a couple other things uh here um i did order um, again, this is a Baker Creek uh, heirloom um, uh, company. This is a Joe Sims Simcox. Again, to be honest with you, I don't know a lot about his background or or anything. You know, um, I'm going to be uh, reading up on this just to see, out of curiosity, more than anything else, uh, what exactly his claim to fame is. But um, this kind of caught my eye when I went online and bought the tomato seeds. Um, I thought uh, this was worth checking out. It's called their Explorer C Series, and this was a melon, uh, the, a Kanjari melon that, um, uh, you know, I've never grown melons before. I'm not sure how they're going to grow. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier in this video the issues that we've had with uh, cucumbers and, and some squashes, actually. I, I had mentioned that earlier, but... We've had some issues with, uh, you know, the, that type of growing plant, even beans. And I'm suspecting that we're going to have the same type of issue uh, with these melons. But I thought it was worth, uh, you know, I was curious enough to try and, you know, buy a packet of seeds and throw them in the ground and see what we get. <clears throat> so, you know, if you see here on the left-hand side, uh, we are going to be growing them. Uh, these two, and we'll be showing you this in, in later episodes uh, you know, these two areas are trellised, uh, so they're uh, able to grow vertically and, uh, you know, kind of self-contained vertical gardening there. And, you know, we'll see, kind of see what we get. If it doesn't work, to be quite honest, I'm not, you know, not heartbroken about it. Uh, it's just, uh, 
Uh, that's the beauty of gardening. You try something and every year you might get two or three failures, but then you get that one plant that grows um, spectacularly uh, for no, for, really for no unknown reason. Uh, and, and, and that's what keeps you going for the, for the next year, right? So um, just throw this in here as well. I mean, you know, they, they did throw in a, a free gift uh, when I ordered the, um, uh, the seeds. Again, almost all tomato seeds. Uh, we do grow some herbs here. Uh, we've got some perennials, some chives and some mint and whatnot that we grow uh, and we've had some su success. So I'll be throwing that in the garden this year uh, and we'll see what we get. Um, one thing that um, you don't see in this picture, if you, again, hopefully you can, you can read that. Um, you don't see sunflowers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna grow sunflowers this year. Um, we grow uh, probably a dozen or so with success. They grow well, but I'm just not sure that they're worth the effort and the, um, you know, uh, using that type of real estate for sunflowers uh, when, I guess this year, you can see here the year of the tomato, I'm really trying to concentrate on tomatoes this year. Um, but that may change. Uh, uh, after starting this gardening channel, I thought, well, maybe we should stick with a little bit more variety. Um, and, you know, that's just the way we could learn. I mean, again, the cucumbers, I haven't had success, but I'm gonna grow them again. And hopefully you guys can show us some, uh, some tips uh, on what we're doing wrong. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of go from there. So um, we're looking forward to this year. We're gonna be trying to put up a video at least once a week uh, over the season, probably more as we get into the summer months, we're in Connecticut again. So we're gonna be planting seeds, um, you know, probably around the end of March, uh, any, any time between uh, March 21st and the end of, the, end of March. So uh, we'll be showing you some, uh, at least the way I, uh, we like to grow seeds, um, some interesting techniques, I think, that you guys can uh, take a look at. And also uh, the, the way that we grow them in the house, propagate them and then uh, get them out into the garden and uh, kind of go from there. So we're looking forward to this season. And uh, again, this is our first video. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long or too uh, blurry or too whatnot. So we're learning, so bear with us. But, um, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about this growing season. We're, we're excited about uh, doing a uh, gardening channel and uh, Please feel free to uh, comment and, and share information. Uh, that's kind of uh, in part what it's all about for us. We want to understand, um, you know, what we may be doing wrong, what we could do be doing better, and if there's other uh, types of plants or uh, whatnot, we'd like to, uh, you know, more than welcome for you to share that with us. And and we're, we're you know, uh, that's that's what this is all about. So. Anyways, I think that's it for today, and um, have a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, next time uh, with the next video. Cheers.